Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this video. We get a lot of questions from new customers and existing customers about how to find a new license file. Um, and you might need to do this for a, a PTC Creo or a Windchill subscription that renews. Uh, since the transition over to subscription, you have to do this every time you renew. Just kind of update things, make sure that the right information is contained and captured in your license file. So, without any further ado, I'll let Todd Liebenau kind of walk through where to go to find this new license file um, so that you can install it and keep chugging along with Creo Parametric or any of the other PTC software tools you have. All right, here we go. Okay, the following is uh, some tips and tricks as far as connecting to PTC to get a updated or brand new copy of your license file. Uh, perhaps your license subscription is due for renewal or you're a new customer and you need to obtain a new license. How do you do it? So the process starts by going to PTC's webpage. So let's go do that. We'll go ahead and, and connect to PTC's webpage. What we're going to look for is uh, something uh, in the upper right hand corner here, the e-support link. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And what we're first looking for here is the uh, Manage Licenses. So on the support page, there's lots of different options for links here. We're specifically interested in managing the licenses. So go ahead and click on that link. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some information here. Uh, we need either a service contract number or a, a sales order number or a uh, network card address. PTC calls it the host ID. Uh, everybody else in the world uh, calls it either a physical address or maybe you've heard it as a MAC address. So we need one of those pieces of information. Uh, to plug in uh, to the license management page to retrieve the license file. So if you're a brand new customer, that sales order number is probably sent to you via email. You probably got it right there at your fingertips. Uh, but if you're an existing customer and you don't necessarily know how to find your physical address, how do you do that? Well, you can uh, simply go to the command prompt window. If you go to your Windows uh, Start uh, command down here, you can simply type in CMD, and that will pop open this command prompt window for you. I've already done that and just brought that to the forefront here. The command you want to run here is uh, called ipconfig. And we want to use the all switch because that's going to report back all of the information uh, that's going to be available for those uh, different network cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that and I'll scroll back to the top of the list. What I'm looking for specifically is something called the physical address. And I'm just going to roll down here and grab that. What I'm looking for is this guy right here. So what you're going to do is just basically copy that information in and um, uh, paste that into your your license line right here. So you can either cut and paste it, or you can uh, just type that back in, and uh, it'll the uh, start to grab that information. So as I start to plug in the information here, the the uh, behind the scenes, the web page is going to go back and see if it can actually find that network card address in the list. And so if you have an idea about what it is, or you copy and paste it in there, it'll go ahead and find that. The next step is to go ahead and just hit the retrieve, right? And then that's what that's going to do is basically submit um, that, um, I have to have a complete address there to do that, but it's going to submit a request to PTC's license management page to uh, go back and, and generate that new license file for you. And then from there, you're going to get an email, right? And that email is going to have information in there as far as the um, the license file. And we'll create another video for that that explains how or what to do with that license file. It's going to be a zip file, and you just need to unpack that. And depending upon whether you want to use the license file that enables borrowing or not, uh, you'll just select from the appropriate license file and then proceed through the license installation process. And again, we'll create a, a, an additional video that describes that process.